Oh, like, hi guys. Like, I'm an animatronic too. Just like you. It sure is fun being an animatronic. See you later. Oh, they're finally gone. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to survive Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Oh man, I wish Scoob were here. I'm stuck in this weird place and I can't get out and none of my buddies are with me. Oh, and there's these weird creepy animatronics that keep trying to kill me. I've been uh, hired as a security guard and if I can just survive the last night, I can get out of here and I don't know if I can. Because if that spooky bear gets me, I think I'm going to end up getting spring-trapped. Okay, okay. I've just got to think. What would the rest of the gang do? Okay, let me see. Fred would say, Oh, we need to build a trap. Okay, so I could build a trap for the animatronics. Let's see, I could... Lead them into the ball pit. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'll try leading them into the ball pit. But how do I do that? Oh, okay. What else would the gang think? Let's see. What would Daphne think? Daphne would think, Oh no, I've been kidnapped. That's not really super useful in this particular scenario. So maybe I'll keep going. Um, let's see. What would Scoob do? Scoob would eat all of the pizza. Now that's a really good idea, but if they catch me eating a pizza, I'm going to end up stuffed into one of the animatronics, and I don't want that. So, sorry, Scoob. I got to think of something else. Velma. What would Velma do in this situation? Velma would find out what's really going on. Okay, okay, just use your thinker, Shaggy. Come on, come on, Norval, you could do it. What is really going on? The guy who was leaving the voice messages said that there were rumors that there were children stuffed inside those creepy animatronics. Oh man, so, if that's what's really going on, this isn't about robots, which is what I have a lot more experience with, to be honest. This is about ghosts. Okay, okay. But they're not like creepy all-seeing ghosts, because I was able to fool them with the Scooby head that I had from Scooby's birthday party. Okay. That means I can fool them too. So, if I can get them to follow me into the ball pit, get them to fall into the ball pit, then I can find a way to free their spirits and let them be at peace. Ah, uh, that sounds a lot better than getting squashed into a creepy little suit and having all of the springs snickety snap me. Like a shish kebab. Oh man, I'm hungry. I could really go for a shish kebab right about now. Oh shoot, the, the animatronics are coming. Like, hey guys, it's me, the new animatronic Scooby Doo. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, of course I do my catchphrases. Rero. Rhymes, Ruby Roo! How are you? You bought it, didn't you? Hey, quick question. How do you guys feel about ball pits? Would you like to follow me to the ball pit and go check it out? They closed the ball pit. Aw, oh, man. I really like ball pits. Oh, well. I guess... 
we'd better keep looking for that security guard, huh? The really handsome one. See you later. Ooh, that was close. Oh, man. The ball pit is out. What else am I going to do? Wait. There might be something else. I ran in to those two guys a while back. What was their name? Uh, Dean. Dean and Sam. Dean and Sam said that there was a way to deal with ghosts. They said that if you burn the bodies, that it gets rid of the ghost. But like... There's no actual body left. They can't have actual bodies walking around inside the animatronics. But maybe they're tied to the animatronics. Yeah, man. They're totally tied to the animatronics. Oh, if I can find a way to burn them, then I think that might work. Okay, what do I have to burn things with? This is a child safe zone. There's like not a lot of options here. I know it's the one thing that I like better than anything else like pizza. And if there's one thing I know about working at a pizza joint is that they have like a grease trap. And if I could cover them in grease, they'd go up like a candle. So how do I get them to put grease on? I've got to convince them to get close. Oh, the pizza oven! That's it! I don't know where I thought of that. If I can get them close to the pizza oven, I can set them on fire. That's what I'll do. I'll convince them that I am hiding near the pizza oven, set it on, and get them to come inside and like, snick, snick, snap, up like a trap. <laughs> Fred would be proud in putting together a trap like that. Oh, shoot, here they come. Um, hey guys, it's me. Animatronic Scooby-Doo, have you, like, found that security guard yet? What? You think it's me, but I'm an animatronic like you. Prove it? Well, how am I supposed to prove it? Open up my insides? Like, I don't even know how that works. But you know what does work is finding the security guard. And like, I think I saw him hiding in the kitchen. So you guys circle around and we'll get him. Like, they're getting suspicious. That was way too close, man. Okay. Got the oven. Turned up to full. I've got the gas coming out. And I just need a light. Oh, man, I don't smoke and none of my friends smoke. But wait, it was Scooby's birthday party. I've got some cig uh, some. I've got some matches for his cake. Oh, man, I really could go for the cake right about now gonna hide over in the corner they're starting to come in all right all right oh man the bear sees me don't run shaggy don't run don't run don't run ah! oh that is very disturbing watching them walk around with just their skeletal insides but now they're falling down it must have been like Dean and and that other guy. What's his name? Sam said. It really did release their spirits. Oh, that's kind of sweet. 
I'm glad those kids aren't caught anymore. <laughs> What's that smell? <gasps> the explosion cooked the pizza! Well, as long as I'm here the rest of the night, I guess I might as well enjoy a slice of some Freddy Fazbear's pizza. <laughs>